All right, let's talk roadways, but specifically, I want to talk about these. Yeah, these stoplights, you know, the things that make you late to work every morning. So there was a viewer, she reached out to me. She wanted to know if stopping at the white line at a stoplight made it turn green faster. I went to some experts to find the answer. To get an answer, I spoke with Chris Spencer, Interim Director of Transportation for the City of Greensboro. He says the answer to this one is not so cut and dry. So it's a little more complicated than yes or no. Here's why. Traffic signals can operate a few ways. One is on a fixed time, meaning there is no detection and driving to the white line does nothing. The lights go on a timer that can vary by both time of day and day of the week. Most of our signals downtown operate fixed time. So they just run a set time for each approach. Then there are lights that detect cars from the ground. Most of our intersections, we have what are called magnetic inductance loops. They're actually sawed into the pavement. You can sometimes see the grooves in the asphalt. Um, and when a vehicle with the metal interrupts that magnetic field, it sends a signal to the intersections. But Spencer says driving up to the white bar over the loops doesn't mean you'll get a green light immediately or an additional green light. But if you don't pull up to the stop bar, we're not going to know you're there so that we can serve you. He says the stoplight will continue in whatever part of the cycle it's in. The loops in the ground just serve as a way to let the signal know that someone is waiting. Spencer adds that some intersections have cameras that work the same way as the loops. So stopping at the white line won't necessarily make your light turn green faster, but it will let the light know you're there. So something else Spencer told me that I wanted to share was that you should not creep up past that stop bar on the ground. If you go too far forward, it messes with the signal that is sent to the stoplight, and sometimes hmm. it won't trigger that someone is actually waiting. So <laughs> <do> whoops, that. <laughs> that's me. You know, I used to have when I was younger, I used to have this app on my phone. It's called the Stoplight Changer app, and I actually believe that if you pulled up and you click this button, that would happen. I always wonder why it never yeah. worked. Well, <laughs> that would be why. <laughs> You that. I don't you know. That? I don't did, remember. Did, have you ever heard if you beep that maybe there's like a noise activated thing if you oh. beep through I've the intersection? Well, Spencer also told me that's false. Okay, good. Now, so, sometimes I if I pull up and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I think I'm on those magnetic strips and it doesn't change, I'll like kind of pull my car in a little bit of a different direction and <laughs> just try to reset <laughs> yeah, it maybe. Yeah, like do a little reverse and then go forward and try to get on that. That center. was real interesting to me because I always thought it was, it was, you know, based on like the weight of your car, right. but it no. turns out it's actually magnetic. That's interesting. And if you see that you are at a stoplight mm -hmm. for three, maybe actually four minutes, not what feels like four minutes, there could be something wrong with it. Hmm. So Spencer told me you should dial 379 city if you are in the gotcha. Greensboro area and they can take a look at it. Cool. My favorite part about downtown though is when it goes green, 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 green. Just <laughs> zoom on. Like, Cruise on through. <laughs>